there's a certain truth serum to the beauty shop chair. And chats are never better than when they're coming from a longtime friend. That's really where our friendship started, was on the basketball court. Tracy Tucker and Angie Walker watched each other grow up. This would have been my senior prom and Angie was a junior. There are lots of good memories. Tracy runs this. Better. The Beehive Salon. Oh, Super nice. cute. <laughs> Angie became an adjunct MTSU professor, a wife, a mother, a 17-year co-chair of the Murfreesboro Christmas Parade. Yeah, I've been doing her hair for years. She would always say, wait till I get in the chair. <laughs> so um, I know that she looked forward to those times and I did as well. She had a Friday appointment set with Tracy's chair of truth. But Angie never made it. Last month, a tornado hit Christiana. A home on Midland Road was flipped upside down. Angie was killed. I received a phone call in the middle of the night. Um, and it's just like you just go through shock, obviously. It just still seems so unreal. It's been a hard two years for Tracy. My son lost his dad um, in August of 17 at the age of five, and um, I'm walking that as the parent left behind. During this, Tracy had a good friend there for her family, for her little boy. It was Angie. I can't identify with, with trying to help children cope with such a loss. Tracy says it's her turn to do something for Angie's children. And she knows just the place for that to happen. With the Murfreesboro Christmas Parade underway, here it comes. Live like Angie. <laughs> all the balloons, yeah. Tracy wants Angie's children to see this, see all of what Angie helped build in so many years working on this parade. Angie would sing a carol. She'd do it if I made her. <laughs> Lost the band. Tracy says in the scope and the joy of the people here. Dance, KK. <laughs> there could be no better legacy for a friend who was always there. She just loved Jesus, which then went into loving people. This is something maybe it will carry on each year. I don't really even have words for it. I'm just grateful that I get to be a part of it.